Going on, everybody. Let me uh, take a look to see if there's anyone that hasn't been paid for for this one. Nothing really unpaid for. So we have the leftover unsold lots, if anybody's interested in picking up any more spots. We have the leftover first lot that includes Calvin Harris, Camden Menachie, Carlson Reed, Coleman Picard, Dylan Questad, Hunter Owen, Isaiah Coupette, and Lucas Gordon. That is eight spots for twelve fifty. And then we have the non-first prospects. That is uh, Camilo Diaz, Marion Boyd, Gabriel Gonzalez, Hans Montero, How Yu Lee, Jesus Baez, Ricardo Cabrera, and William Bergola. Eight spots for eight dollars there. Uh, Warden Bros. Any twins? Uh, I think that Gabriel Gonzalez got traded to the Twins, but he is listed or depicted in this set as a Mariner. Chris confirming he did get traded to the Twins. Um, that available in the leftover non-first slot for $8. Uh, we only have three boxes here tonight, so we'll be opening all the ones... Ron, jumping in immediately and taking them both. Ron, you got it. Ron grabbing all the leftovers. For a total of, let's just say 20, 20 on the dot instead of 20, 50, Ron, since you grabbed both. All right. Um, yeah, these boxes are getting pretty crazy expensive. The uh, jumbos now selling for a thousand, and uh, hobbies selling in the seven hundreds. So uh, this draft class is uh, is definitely popular. It seems we have, of course, Langford in the majors already leading the way in this uh, in this class. I can't remember if it was this week. Or last week when we got the checklist for 2024, but we will have Dylan Cruz in that. No Chase Dollander, which I would have loved to see a Chase Dollander auto in uh, in 2024 Bowman. Hopefully, we don't get another Jack Lighter situation where we never get an a uh, a Jack Lighter uh, Bowman card, or so it seems. I still don't know what that's about, um, but I was able to pick up another few supers, uh, um, jumbos, and a sapphire. So uh, those sapphires are going for, I think I paid $8.50, which is insane. They started at $300. So 
If anybody got cases of uh, of Bowman Draft Sapphire, they are now uh, what is that two two over two x two and a half x their uh, their original price on Fanatics website. So we will be running a Saf a 2023 Bowman Sapphire box for the first time in about a month um, next week in our uh, our Sunday break. So if anybody's a Sapphire fan. Get ready for that one. Um, still hunting for the elusive Elyon Soto auto and the Homer Bush Jr. We've only pulled one Elyon auto in all of our breaks. So I definitely agree. Elusive. We've pulled more Tom Brady's than we have Elyon's. All right. Let me know if anyone uh, – um, let me know if we want to go jumbo or super first tonight, and then we'll get right underway. Let's see. Ray, uh, Ray, Ron just paid – Let's see. I see the Venmo. Um, I see both of your Venmos. Um, I'll keep an eye on that note, but uh, it looks like I, I got your payment and uh, you're all set. So you are all good, Ron. Chris saying let's go super first. That's what we'll do. Talking about on eBay. Got it. Okay. I uh, didn't see the note yet, but uh, I'll take a look at that. Oh, got it. Okay. Thank you for thank you for clarifying that, Ron. I, I understand what you're saying now, um, and I appreciate you uh, – making that clear so I can easily send you uh, the stuff that you picked up in this one to match it with your order. Yeah. Thanks a lot. I, uh, that can be confusing sometimes. And I forgot to ask you who you had in the, in the auction. So I appreciate you doing that, making, uh, making my life easier. All right, we have our Super Jumbo open and empty. Starting off with five autos tonight. Who else is hurting the Braves rotation besides Strider? It's just set on MLB TV, uh, MLB Network. The Braves rotation is beat up. Can't think who they're missing besides Strider. All right, bottom pack to start things off. We have a blue refractor. Didn't see who that was on the bottom there. As usual here, we'll just scan quickly through our papers, make sure we're not missing any color, and then slow everything down for our chrome, starting with Jason Woodward, Jack Mahoney, Connor O'Halloran, Cade Morris, Jason Savakul, Jake Cunningham, Jet Williams, Eric Batoni, Brian Acuna, Colton Ledbetter, Philip Abner, Hero Wyatt, Chris Clark, Trey Morgan, Michael Arroyo, Brock Vradenberg, Gavin Cross, Luke Kieschel, Alfredo Duno, Jacob Gonzalez, two first rounders in this first pack, Charlie Soto draft night, and a refractor of Yankeel Fernandez, number 98 in uh, the call-ups top 100 rankings. Yankeel Fernandez, number 64 of 150. I listened to uh, Arms t first, I think, 25 players on his top 100 list on the call-up podcast. Uh, did not realize that Enrique Bradfield Jr. was an 80 speed guy like on the same level as billy hamilton speed and Asturias ruiz or estuary ruiz so uh apparently better bat to ball than those two guys so another massive prospect there in that uh in that orioles organization they seem to just keep finding them our first auto looks like it's going to be a base auto there's Homer Bush and paper. 
And no color in paper in this first auto pack. We have a Cole Carrig, Cam Collier, CJ Kaifus, Roderick Arias, Cam Fisher, Anthony Gutierrez, Chase Jaworski, Nathan Detmer, Jackson Baumeister, Carlos Jorge, Teddy McGraw. Getting into our refractors, we have Luke Kieschel, Alfredo Duno, Jacob Gonzalez, nice refractor there, and Wyatt Langford behind the Emmanuel Bonilla. So Wyatt Langford getting a refractor on the board in the top first top pack of the break. Cole Schoenwetter, Maui Ahuna, Jackson Merrill, and Xander Muth is our first auto, a base there. James Wood getting both inserts in this pack. So we have Xander Muth. Our first auto. Let me open up some more top loaders for that. Any uh, any Orioles fans that have any thoughts on Chase McDermott and Cade Pavich? I did not realize that uh, both of them were on the Orioles now. Uh, Chase McDermott, one of the guys who uh, had one of those weird tops mistakes where his first paper cards did not have paper, uh, did not have first written on them, but they are the same in the same set. All of his Chrome cards do have first notations on them. Wyatt Langford off to a good start as well tonight. Jackson Merrill Refractor, with as well as Maui Ahuna, Cole Schoenwetter. We will top load our Jacob Gonzalez Refractor. And Refractor of Luke Kieschel. All right, we'll go bottom half first here. See what should be our refractor pack first. No color still in the papers here. Felman Celestin, Jacob Wilson, another first rounder on the board. Hunter Owen, Marcus Brown, Levi Wells, Christian Napzik, Colson Montgomery. Jace Boroffin, Jacob Cravy, Xander Muth, Joe Redfield, Samuel Zavala, the White Sock, Garrett Forrester, Mikey Romero, first rounder Johnny Farmello, Rainer Arias, Paul Skeens, first pick, Cole Miller, Adrian Santana, Davison Gutierrez, and we'll have a Lunar Glow Refractor. Behind the Wyatt Langford draft night, and it is Mac Horvath. Doing well with the uh, Lunar Glow Refractor. A nice one for the early second round outfielder for the O's. Let's see. Last. Let's see. A sweet Roman Anthony. Uh, I don't think there are Roman Anthony autos in this set. Uh, if, anybody, if anybody knows better cor feel free to correct me but i'm pretty sure roman anthony does not have autos in draft i do know that roman anthony is apparently skyrocketing as a prospect chris confirming that there are not yeah i think the only guys with autos in this product are the uh the 2023 draft guys go refractor pack again Skeens and Langford getting paper in that one. We have a Jonathan Mejia, Devin Saltabon, William Bergola, Carson Rockefort, Brooks Lee, Nazan Zanatello, Drew Gilbert, Max Anderson, Ariel Castro, Matt Shaw. Top three prospect or top four prospect for the Cubs and what's becoming an increasingly good organization there. Isaiah Coupet. Ty Pete, Luis Almeida, Colin Houck, Wilbin Francisa, Jack Hurley, Jackson Churio, Sabin Sabalos, 
Justin Crawford, Justin Reimer. We have a Paul Skeens glass and a gold refractor of, or a yellow refractor of, Cooper Ingle, number one of 75. Man, I hope that Cooper Ingle's dad was in this one. Or whatever family member it is of Cooper Ingle that's been joining all of our breaks. That is a really cool Cooper Ingle to own. Number one of 75. If somebody else had Cooper Ingle in this one, I may reach out after this break and uh, and see if we could get that one shipped over to his dad because uh, serial number one is definitely a cool one to own. Ty Pete, Colin Houck, Nazan Zanatello, and Matt Shaw all getting base chrome. Paul Skeen's getting on the board for the second time already. A base chrome and a glass insert. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, see ya, Chef. Hopefully we can get you some nice color of him anyway. All right, I'm going to go to one of these top packs. We'll get another auto on the board. We have the Xander Muth base to start. Let's see what we could follow that up with. Then we have three more auto packs. We have another base here. So two base autos to start. Still no color in the papers yet. Cooper Ingle getting a paper to start that one, although that one goes to the paper lot, but also getting a chrome to add to that number one of 75 yellow that he just got. Lazaro Montes, Andrew Pinckney, Tamar Johnson, Brandon Winokur, Davison De Los Santos, Ty Floyd, Samuel Basalo. There's the speedster Enrique Bradfield Jr. Brando Maia, Rhett Lauder, Another first rounder, CJ Kaifas, Refractor, Roderick Arias, Cam Fisher, Anthony Gutierrez, Chase Jaworski, Nathan Detmer, Jackson Baumeister, Carlos Jorge, and the auto is base, and it is Landon Mardot. We hit two Landon Mardot purples last break, both autos, and he's back on the board in ink again, Jackson Churio and Drew Jones. Landon Mardot and Xander Muth base autos to start. Hopefully uh, we only head up from there. Refractor of Baumeister. Detmer. Jaworski. Cam Fisher. CJ Kaifas and our... List of first rounders that we pulled in that one. We have Rhett Louder. Well, Basalo. Just a first non auto there for Basayo, who I've been calling Basalo, and I believe now his name is Basayo. So, another, another one I learned I've been doing wrong. Ty Floyd and Enrique Bradfield Jr. All right, let's go two more refractor packs before we see the rest of the autos. Evan Carter, rougher start to this season than he had to his uh, career last year. I saw a stat that him and Anthony Rendon were the last two players who qualify and hits so far in the year who don't have a hit. Dylan Questad, Chrome, Tommy Hawk, Samuel Munoz, Paul Wilson, Conley Early, Brady Smith, TJ Nichols, Cole Foster. Jacob Berry, Mac Horvath, Yankeel Fernandez, Sean Sullivan, Coleman Picard, Cade Culler, Andrew Lindsay, AJ Ewing, James Wood, another Cooper Ingle, and Lazaro Montes. It's a lot of Cooper Ingles on the board so far. Andrew Pinckney. We have a purple refractor behind the Jacob Wilson. It is a first, and it's a Max Anderson, number 88 of 250 for the early second rounder for the Tigers. Anybody uh, anybody take a look at that 2024 Bowman checklist yet? And uh, 
have any ideas of who they may be collecting starting, uh, I think it's the first week of May when that product releases. Let's go. Oh, wow. Renel Blanco went six innings of no-hit after throwing the no-hitter. Gino Grover. Meb, I've never heard of Gino Grover. We're going to have a Fuchsia Lunar Crater as our final non-auto refractor of the Super Jumbo. 2024 Bowman checklist feels really top-heavy, but who knows, says Luke. Yeah, I mean, I think when 2022 came out, I guess we already knew Curtis Mead and James Wood, but we thought that Khalil Watson would be the, the headliner and wouldn't have guessed that Ellie would have ended up being one of the best players out of any Bowman product that was recently released. We have a Marcelo Mayer Chrome, Kemp Alderman, Ludwig Espinoza, Braden Taller, Ethan Salas. There's our first Max Clark, Carlson Reed, Connor Burns, Nelson Rada, Ethan O'Donnell, Spencer Nivens, Josue DePaula, Homer Bush, Xavier Isaac, Drew Hackenberg, Grayson Hitt, Jerron Watts Brown, Camden Bonacci, Tommy Troy on the board for the first time. Tanner Hall, we have a glass Jacob Wilson insert. And our Fuchsia Lunar Crater is a first of every break, it seems. A hit of Grayson Hit. Fuchsia Lunar Crater, 183 of 199 for Grayson Hit. Never fails. Switch the Yankiel out, even though he's a top 100 prospect. We'll get a, a first in the background display. We'll show off our hit hit. Drew Hackenberg, Homer Bush, Ethan Salas, and Braden Taylor. Chrome will get top loaders on our Tommy Troy and Max Clark Chromes. Meb getting on the board with uh, Tommy Troy. Let's see. Chris saying, I know it's loaded, but I have to sit down and do play your research and see who you're chasing. Yep, I'm uh, still only about halfway through the uh, the checklist and doing my own research. Meb saying, all the top draft guys have non-first autos. Yeah, I noticed that. I, I kind of like that, that they did that this time. I, I saw that there were a lot of big name autos of uh, of guys who aren't firsts, so that'll be exciting. Hopefully, they're all on card. Can we finally get color? Sky blue, Noble Meyer. I believe he's in the '80s in Arms Top 100 list. Noble Meyer comments about how big his legs were. They don't look that big in this picture, but I guess they must be. Number 27 of 4.99 for Noble Meyer, Sky Blue Paper. Manuel Bonilla, we have a Wyatt Langford Chrome, so two Langfords on the board. Cole Schoenwetter, Maui Ahuna, Jackson Merrill, Hunter Holland, Jaden Ham, Jack Weniger, Marion Boyd, Brock Roden, Kevin Parada, refractors of Hunter Holland, Jaden Ham, Jack Weniger. Here we go with the same names. Marion Boyd, Brock Roden, Kevin Parada, Spencer Nivens. We have a third base auto. Behind DePaula is Kendall George, base auto of the first rounder for the Dodgers. I think he's a top 10, if not a top five prospect in their organization already. Eldridge and Rainer Arias inserts. Couple of nice hits there with the Chrome Langford and the base auto of Kendall George, hoping for some color autos in these last two packs. Wouldn't be the first time we hit five base autos in a super, but it's been a while. So hopefully we can keep that streak going. 
a Noble Meyer sky blue paper in this one as well. So a few nice hits in this one. A little color match kind of on that light blue, sky blue, Noble Meyer as well. I guess the teal is probably technically the, uh, the color match with the Marlins, but that looks pretty similar. Noble Meyer was the 10th overall pick. Close with the 27 serial number, but not quite. Chris saying, I know Sebastian Walcott has autos. Oh, does, wait, did Sebastian Walcott not have autos in 2023 Chrome, or does he just have another auto? I'm trying to remember if I ever pulled a Sebastian Walcott auto. Maybe not. We have a teal wave auto, so we will get color in our super jumbo autos. No color in the papers, just that one sky blue paper of Noble Meyer so far. Colt Emerson, Chrome, Kiner Delgado, Mike Bove, Jackson Holiday, Enrique Bradfield Jr. That's weird because usually Enrique Bradfield Jr. is behind Basayo. This time he was behind Holiday. Brando Maella, Nolan McLean. Spencer Jones, Dylan Campbell, Brady House, Kendall George on the board again, Homer Bush. Oh, actually, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't put the Kendall George in the display. Let's take down the Grayson hit and put that Kendall George auto up there. Homer Bush refractor, Xavier Isaac, Drew Hackenberg, Grayson hit, Jaron Watts Brown, Camden Minacci, Tommy Troy refractor, Tanner Hall, and. The first is a hitter. D-backs colors or Reds colors? What's it going to be? D-backs colors. I think that is our first ever auto of Kevin Sim. Jackson Holiday, Drew Jones inserts behind that. The Kevin Sim auto is 29 of 199. All right, let's get all of these refractor hits sleeved up. Let's see, his were his first were non-autos. So Sebastian Walcott then will have his first ever auto since it's the next year. That will not be labeled a first. Trying to think off the top of my head who I can remember who who else had that situation. Uh, Jackson Merrill. JT Schwartz comes to mind just because I was looking at the JT Schwartz auto that I have yesterday. What did Vladimir Guerrero shush? Why is Vlad Guerrero mad at the... Uh, was it, was it his teammates or was it the crowd that he was trying to quiet down? Brady House, right? Yep, following year. Jackson Churio, separate release, but same year, so his autos were labeled first. Last Super Jumbo pack, we have a gold paper of a Marion Boyd. So, Ray, that one going to you. Number nine of 50 there, a Marion Boyd gold paper. He was in the leftover non-first lot. Elijah Green, Chrome, Joe Vitrano, Garrett Bauman, Landon Mardot, Austin Trozier, Jackson Wiggins, Wyatt Crowell, Kiefer Lord, Cade Denton, Rock Riggio, Christian Vaccaro, Refractors of Teddy McGraw, Philip Abner, Hero Wyatt, Chris Clark, Trey Morgan, Michael Arroyo, Brock Vradenberg, Gavin Cross, and Charlie Soto Refractor Auto. So not a bad way to finish there. Rhett Louder and Max Clark inserts behind that. First rounder for Minnesota, Charlie Soto getting a Refractor Auto. I think that might be the first numbered auto we've pulled of Charlie Soto. That one is 309 of 499 for Soto. We'll put the Horvath down to the side. 
put that Charlie Soto up there on the main stand. And we'll sleeve and top load Rays, Amari, and Boyd. The rest of the first hits from this pack. And then we'll move over to our jumbos. Two more jumbo boxes to come tonight. The crowd is being – he shushed the crowd while his team was losing badly. Somebody did uh, – it was um, – What's his name? Luis Severino yesterday had an absolutely terrible inning against the Reds. Struck a batter out after walking a walking in a run, and like screamed in celebration after he walked up, walked off the mound. Seemed like a strong move by Severino. I pulled a blue wave Charlie Soto for you a couple months ago. All right, then I guess I have pulled a Charlie Soto numbered auto before. All right, let me shift over these papers and a few of the Chrome cards, and then we'll get into the Jumbos. All right, and let's get into the jumbos. Let's see. I'm glad we have Luis Severino now, and he's my team's problem. Yeah, uh, I think he's 0 2 so far. So I think he may have pitched pretty well in the first game. We were just doing nothing offensively at that point. I'd rather have Stroman though. How's how's Stroman doing so far as uh, as a Yankee? All right, there's our first jumbo empty. Three more autos to come out of this one. Ooh, Imanaga against Otani. All right, starting off the jumbos. Nothing in the papers. Chromes, we have Kevin Parada, Jay Cunningham, Brock Roden, Jason Savakul, Amarian Boyd, Cade Morris, Max Clark, insert, and refractors of Jack Hurley and Jackson Churia. Uh, any Braden Taylor yet, Meb? I think one chrome might be the only Braden Taylor we have so far. Not shocked. He's 0-2. Stroman is a stud so far. Yep. I was very upset when the Mets didn't re-sign Stroman after uh, last year. I assume that he would be a better athlete going into the pitch clock era than the Verlander and Scherzer type pitchers. And uh, it seems that may be the case. Any skein sightings? Yeah, two skein sightings. One base chrome, one insert glass. Jacob Gonzalez on the board in chrome for the second time. Levi Wells, Alfredo Duno, Marcus Brown, Luke Kieschel. We have a Michael Arroyo Sky Blue Chrome and a Christian Opper. Lunar Glow Refractor, Austin Trozer and Landon Marceau getting refractors. Christian Opper 
on the long list of guys whose names I've realized that I were, was pronouncing incorrectly for uh, the last three months. How's Jackson Merrill looking so far to start the season? We have a sky blue paper, Dylan Campbell, number 364 of 499, Jason Woodward. Speaking of Jackson Merrill, there he is. Xander Muth, Maui Ahuna, Jacob Cravey, Cole Schoenwetter, Wyatt Langford, Draft Night, Jacob Reimer, and Elijah Green, Refractors. Four for four today for Merrill. That's an improvement. Has, does anybody follow um, Tops Now launches? They've been putting out a ton recently of these uh, like short printed or super short printed game used artifact tops now cards. I've tried to catch a couple of them, and uh, by the time I've caught all of them, they've been sold out. And I've caught a couple within about an hour of their uh, of their drop. The prices are pretty aggressive on them. I think most of them are around $199 or higher, but I know they had a Jackson Merrill base card, like for a base from the game that he start, that he uh, had his debut in. Jack Weniger, Connor O'Halloran, Jaden Ham, Jack Mahoney, Hunter Holland. We have a speckle auto of Seth Keener to start off our autos in this second box. Seth Keener speckle auto. That is numbered to 71, 27 of 71 for Seth Keener. Colin Houck, transformative talent, Sabalos and Justin Crawford, refractors. So, Speckle Auto pulled one in each break tonight. One number to seventy-one. One number to two ninety-nine. Nice hit for the Seth Keener spot. Let's see. I'm going to change that for the Kevin Sim. Put the Sim to the side. Tyler O'Neill's home run leader. All right. Keeping it moving. Let's see. We had our auto here. Most of the time, the autos are in the same row. So let's take those two. We'll put them to the bottom and hope that we can save our last two autos for the end. Let's see. If the Giants trade off for Yankees, the, if the... Chris, I have no idea what that sentence means. <laughs> Spencer Jones, Chrome, Tommy Hawk, Nolan McLean, Dylan Questad, Jackson Holiday, Ethan O'Donnell, Jacob Wilson, Draft Picks, Brandon Winokur, and Davison De Los Santos, Refractors. Are uh, Boston's pitcher Hauk and Colin Hauk related? I've never had that thought before. Is it Colin? I guess I should have known how to pronounce Colin. Uh, I mean, Tanner Hauk. I should have known how to pronounce Colin Hauk's name based on that. Kemp Alderman, Drew Hackenberg, Marcelo Mayer, Xavier Isaac, Colton Ledbetter, Homer Bush, Bryce Eldridge Glass, Ty Pete, and Luis Almeida Refractors. Good trade off the Mets get Severino. We get yeah, good for you. <laughs> Let's see, Eldridge. Let's get the penny sleeve on that one. And let's keep it moving. Still two more autos to go on this one. It's 
Mar Marod Marudis and Bo Bovi Landon Marudis. I'm guessing that's who we were talking about. Oh, I'll have to find their names now and and see. Carlson Reed, Tanner Hall, Max Clark back on the board, Tommy Troy back on the board, Ethan Salas, Trey Morgan, Sky Blue Chrome, Paul Skeen's Draft Night, Enrique Bradfield, and Brando Maia Refractors. Some good names in that pack. Bradfield, Clark, Troy, Salas, and a ref Sky Blue Chrome Refractor of Trey Morgan. Up ones to top load there. Wouldn't hate that if I pulled that pack as a as a non auto pack out of a from a hobby shop. A lot of Lewis Gill love in these chats. I'm gonna I'm gonna need to uh, catch him when he starts against the Mets. I can't promise that I'm going to listen to Michael K and uh, and watch a Yankees broadcast. Ty Pete, another Mariner hit there. Watermelon Ty Pete, 74 of 199. Let's see. There we go. So Mike Bovey. Thank you, Luke. Nelson Rada, Kiner Delgado, Connor Burns, Colt Emerson, Fuchsia Lunar Crater, Samuel Zavala, 70 of 199. Justin Crawford insert, Ty Floyd, and Samuel Basayo. Refractors. Let's see if that means – oh, no, the Enrique Bradfield Jr. refractor just came out. So Basayo and Bradfield coming next to each other in the packs again. But this time uh, one pack in back of the other. We have a purple refractor coming up here. Brian Acuna Chrome, Jose, Josue De Paula, Eric Batoni, Spencer Nivens, Jet Williams. The purple is Jay Bashir's number 51 of 250 for the 191st draft pick. Wyatt Langford, transformative talent, Colin Houck, and Wilbin Francisa refractors. Get out some more sleeves. Yankees play the Marlins. Yikes. Tomorrow night. I wonder what the line's going to be on that game. I don't know. Uh, I don't think we have Zach and Joe in this one anymore. Uh, otherwise, I would have asked Joe if he uh, thought the Yankees were a good bet tomorrow. Haven't seen the line yet. All right. We think that these two are going to be autos. Let's go with this pack first. Our image variation paper card of Samuel Munoz. Camden Minacci. There's Braden Taller again. Jerron Watts Brown, Ludwig Espinoza, Grayson Hit again. Ugh, are you kidding me? Grayson Hit with another hit. Two Grayson Hits tonight. A, a Fuchsia Lunar Crater and a base auto. That is crazy. Every single break we get a hit of Grayson Hit. Jackson Churio, draft picks and prospects. Brett Lauder and Isaiah Coupet getting refractors. That is crazy. Abraham Toro's a veteran now. So wrong about the auto location. Maybe it was the two on the other end. 
Uh, Alderman, I can't remember off the top of my head if we've hit maybe an Alderman Chrome, but I don't think any Alderman color. Jace Bar often. Another white Langford, two chromes and a refractor. Colson Montgomery, Emmanuel Bonilla. Interesting that the other Langfords were behind the Bonilla. This was in front of the Bonilla. Christian Napsik. Chase Davis image variation. Have not pulled many of those out of Bowman draft. James Wood pros, uh, draft picks and prospects. Vetrano and Bauman refractors. So a very cool hit for the Chase Davis spot. Let's check if that one's numbered. Let's get the white Langford sleeved up as well. And oh, more penny sleeves. Chase Davis, that is not numbered on the image variation. Not labeled a first either, which I don't like, but still a very cool hit for the Chase Davis spot. Put that one up in the display for the Cooper Ingle. And final auto, final pack of jumbo box number one, box number two of the break. We had the numbered to 71 speckle and the base out of this one so far. So let's see if we can get two colors or if it's going to end up being one i think it's going to end up being one here hunter owen gavin cross jacob wilson there's another brock vradenberg felman celestin connor Houck. i mean colin Houck. base auto matt shaw insert jackson wiggins and white cruel so colin Houck getting a base auto another first round base auto in this break after we hit, I think, five last week, we have two, three this week. Soto, Kendall George, and Colin Houck. Let's see, I'm going to take the white Langford down. We'll get the Houck up there. We've done pretty well for the Colin Houck spot as well. Few autos we've pulled of him. Oh, I didn't even realize the stand wasn't. On screen. Uh, maybe a good thing since that Kendall George is glaring. There we go. Mm, it's dangerous. There we go. All right, let's go to the second jumbo. Let's see, right now the Yankees are minus 157 to win. Oh, man. Yeah, I got to get some money on that for sure, Chris. I got, let's see, the Royals six and four. I have their over and wins on uh, on DraftKings. I like to see that they're six and four. I think I got the first 20 hit hits, but now he goes for too much. The people knew. People saw the breaks and they're <laughs> driving up the hit prices. Increasing solely on my hit-hit ratio. Oh my God, Strasburg! Did Strasburg retire? There is our second box open and empty. <laughs> hitting, hit, hit, hitting is guaranteed. Was that a, oh, too many health issues. So that was a yes to Strasburg retiring. Let's see, we have a sky blue in this one. So probably no autos in the first row. Another Max Clark, though. A lot of Max Clark. Ty Floyd, Ethan Salas, and Braden Taylor. So we're seeing similar collations in every box. Gavin Cross, Sky Blue.
Colton Ledbetter Draft Knights, Devin Saltabon, and William Bergola Refractors. I think that's a Max Clark Chrome in every box so far. See if that means that we also have another uh, White Langford base coming up in this box as well. Taylor, Salas, Floyd, and Sky Blue, Gavin Cross. When was the last time Strasburg pitched in a major league game? Looks like another Sky Blue and a Fuchsia Lunar uh not a fuchsia lunar crater, just a, a lunar glow in this one. Connor Delgado, Marcus Brown, Colt Emerson, Hunter Owen, Tanner Hall, Luke Kieschel, Sky Blue, and Christopher Torin, Lunar Glow, Jace Boroffin, and Jacob Cravey, Refractors. Bunch of stuff to sleeve up there. Cravey, Borhoffen. Colt Emerson. I can't remember if I top loaded the rest of his chromes. I should have. Kieschel Sky Blue and Torin Lunar Glow. Levi Wells should be a refractor in the back there. Still looking for all of our autos in this one. No color in the papers. Xander Muth, Dylan Campbell, Jacob Cravey, Spencer Jones, Jace Boroffin, Nolan McLean, Nazan Zanatello, Draft Knight, Marcus Brown, and Levi Wells refractors. Brendan Winnaker, Ludwig Espinosa, Tamar Johnson. There's another Kemp Alderman, Andrew Pinckney. And our first auto is Cam Fisher, base auto of Fisher. Jackson Holiday insert, Carson Rockefort and Brooks Lee refractors. So first auto is in the same spot as the first auto was in the last box. But then... The second auto was in the bottom of this first row. I'm still going to take these two packs and put them down on the bottom. We did get two interesting hits in the last one, in those last two packs last time. Rocket Roger on the CMT Awards baseball. Rocket Roger, he's the top prospect on, or one of the top prospects on the Dodgers. We have a Dylan Questad, Isaiah Coupet, Ethan O'Donnell, Rhett Lauder, Nelson Rada, Mood Ring of Blake Mitchell. Non-numbered there, Jacob Gonzalez, insert, Seth Keener, and Zach Thornton. Oh, Rocket Roger. Who's Who am I thinking of? Isn't there somebody named Rocket in, uh, in a minor league organization? Or is it something that sounds like Rocket? <laughs> Rock Riggio. Now, uh, some no. Is it Ronnie Ronnie Rivers? Uh, 
Marcelo Mayer, Lazaro Montes, Colton Ledbetter. Cooper Ingle, Brian Acuna, James Wood, Noble Meyer, Glass, Nazan Zanatello, Andrew Gilbert, Refractors. Zanatello, Refractor, Ledbetter, and the Noble Meyer. Glass insert. Any, uh, let's see, bad sports TV night. Well, we got the highlights of the day at least. Six Ks for uh, Mackenzie Gore. Uh, of course, I bet his over in Ks. Actually, no, he hit his over in Ks last time when I bet it. Hunter Haas, number 67 of 499, sky blue paper. Cade Culler, Jason Savakul, Coleman Picard, Cade Morris, Sean Sullivan, Connor O'Halloran, all firsts in Chrome, White Langford, Refractor of Matt Shaw and Felnan Celestin. That's our best Matt Shaw so far tonight. The last time we did a Sapphire break, we had a, a Matt Shaw Gold Sapphire Auto. See if we can uh, have another hot week next week now that we're bringing back the Sapphire with Matt Shaw. How far along are we, Jay Z? We, uh, I know we have at least a refractor of uh, Hall for you. Um, we are. This is the last box, so we're on box number three of the break. Looks like a speckle coming up here. Not, wouldn't expect this to be an auto pack, but maybe it is. Brando Maella, Colin Burns, Enrique Bradfield Jr., Carlson Reed. Samuel Basayo and not an auto. Philip Abner, speckle non numbered. Spencer Jones, Tayshawn Walton, and Jonathan Mejia. Speaking of Gilbert, he's on Syracuse looking good. Ooh, nice, Chris. I wish I had an, I, I would say I'll send you a nice uh, Gilbert and try to try and get signed if you're going to head to another game, but I don't think I have any nice Gilberts that aren't already signed. Just sent his 22 Orange and Vic to auto to be graded. Yeah, oh, that's a good point. Uh, until the end of the month, we have a... Uh, a PSA grading special, sixteen ninety nine. So if anybody has PSA orders almost ready, I uh, am trying to compile my own so I can take advantage of that discount. Best one that we've had since uh, January. Eric Batoni, AJ Ewing, Jet Williams. Is he up in AAA yet? Andrew Lindsay, Jay Cunningham. We have a Fuchsia Lunar Crater of Christopher Torin, second hit for Christopher Torin, Marcelo Mayer, transformative talent, Max Anderson, and Ariel Castro, refractors. Three packs left, two autos left in the break tonight. I heard some really good things about Christian Scott as well. I would assume he's at AAA at this point. I heard that there was a possibility he might have made the Mets out of camp. Can't tell if that's going to be an auto yet. <laughs> Torrin hitting all day. Torrin hitting during the day. Torrin hitting during the break. Yankeel Fernandez, Jack Mahoney, Kendall George, Jason Woodward, Brady House. It is going to be an auto. I think this is Cole Miller. It is Cole Miller. So interesting that both auto locations are the same. Cole Miller base auto. Colt Keith transformative talent. Jacob Wilson getting a refractor. And Hunter Owen getting a refractor. Francisco Lindor better have had a good day after all of the bad days he's had to start the season.
All right, final two packs. We should have one auto and one non-auto pack left. We'll see if we have color in this one. We'll put it aside and save it for the last pack. We do... Uh-oh, looks like we're going to have a class of 2023 auto. If, that, if I am seeing that correctly, let's see what we have. Jacob Wilson, again. Tommy Troy, again. Felman Celestin. Camden Minacci, another Matt Shaw. Some really nice names here. Let's see. Oh, it's going to be a draft night auto of Jacob Wilson. We have hit so many Jacob Wilson draft night hits. I think all of our draft night hits are Jacob Wilson. This one is 48 of 99 refractor auto for the Wilson spot with a transformative talent behind that. Xander Muth and Jason Woodward refractors. One pack left. We have three autos out of this one already. Interesting auto placement in this break. Or in these two uh, jumbos, I should say. So another first rounder getting on the board tonight. Jacob Wilson with the sticker auto. Let's sleeve and top load our Matt Shaw. And get sleeves on the Tommy Troy and Jacob Wilson. Bunch of hits for them tonight. Any Homer Bush cards tonight? I remember saying his name, but I don't think in color or anything. Not a lot of color papers in this break either, I feel like. We have a Colson Montgomery, Jackson Holiday, Christian Napsik, Mike Bovey, I think was the pronunciation. Levi Wells, we have a purple refractor coming up. Colson Montgomery refractor, Christian Napsik refractor. Matt Shaw, draft picks and prospects, and the final hit of the break, Alfredo Duno. Purple Refractor numbered 121 of 250 for the very big catcher, from what I hear, for the Reds. 6'2", 210, I hear he's more like 2... I don't remember if it was 230 or 250 uh, now. I think it was 230. So uh, Alfredo Duno, pretty big boy. All right, let's recap this one. Yes, Jay-Z, we will do a recap as always. Um, and if anybody's checking out now, just a reminder, we will be running another Bowman, 20, Bowman Draft 2023 next week, but it will have a Sapphire in it for the first time in a month. So a super jumbo and Sapphire break. All right, recapping tonight. Matt Shaw and Paul Skeens base, Jacob Gonzalez refractor, Xander Muth base auto, Alfredo Duno purple chrome, Matt Shaw base, Cole Miller base auto, Jacob Wilson refractor, Christopher Torin, Fuchsia Lunar Crater, Philip Abner speckle, Hunter Haas sky blue paper, Matt Shaw refractor, Blake Mitchell mood ring, Cam Fisher base auto, Cold Emerson base, Luke Kieschel sky blue chrome, Max Clark, base, Wyatt Langford, refractor, Cooper Engel, yellow, number one of 75, Wyatt Langford, base, Grayson Hit, base, auto, Jay Bashir's purple refractor, Samuel Zavala, fuchsia lunar crater, Ty Pete, watermelon paper, Max Clark, base, Trey Morgan, sky blue, chrome, Kevin Sim, teal lava or teal wave auto, Dylan Campbell, sky blue paper, Christian Opper, uh, lunar glow, Amarian Boyd, Gold Paper, Tommy Troy, Refractor, Grayson Hit, Fuchsia Lunar Crater, Noble Meyer, Sky Blue Paper, Wyatt Langford, Max Clark, Tommy Troy, Base, Yankeel Fernandez, Blue Chrome, Max Anderson, Purple Chrome, Landon, and now how do we pronounce his name? Mar, 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 Marotis? Marotis, yeah, that does look like it says Marotis now that I see Thank you again, Luke. Landon Marotis base auto. Going to the back, we have our Mac Horvath Lunar Glow. Chase Davis Im image variation refractor, non-numbered. Kendall George and Colin Houck base autos for first rounders. Charlie Soto first rounder refractor auto. Seth Keener. 
Speckle Auto number 27 of 71. And Jacob Wilson with the Draft Night Refractor Auto. That one numbered 48 of 99, wrapping things up for tonight. Man, absolutely. Hopefully we'll uh, see some nice hits next week with uh, with the Sapphire coming back for some uh, some more autos. I saw somebody posted the uh, a Wyatt Langford um, orange auto for, I think, 16000 Of course, it didn't sell at that price, but crazy to see how high uh, – his stuff is right now. All right, everybody, have a good week. Um, we'll see everyone back here next Sunday.